Now let's spend some time cleaning up our document and managing our layers. I'm going to drag my layers panel off so we can see all of the work that we're about to do. The first thing you can do is notice that you've got eyeball icons on the left hand side. If you hold down the option key and click on one of the eyeballs, this will turn off all of the other layers except for the one that you clicked on. When we do this to the layer one, this will show the tornado and now we can double click the layer name. Let's give it the name of tornado. Let's do the same thing for the other layers. Hold down option and click on layer two. This will show the lightning. And if we double click layer two, we'll call this lightning. And do the same thing for layer three. Click on layer three, double click the name of it, and we'll call this logo. Now if we hold down option and click on that again, you can see they'll turn on all of these. And since the logo and the title text are kind of the same thing, let's put these into a common group. If you hold down the shift key, you can select the title text and the logo. And if we click on the little folder at the very bottom of our uh, layers panel, this will put it into a group. And this is kind of like putting them into a solid folder. Let's double click the name of the group. And we'll call this logo types, hit return and you can click the little arrow to open it up and see what's inside of these layers. Now let's move and transform some of our layers. I'll pull my layers panel out of the way. With our move tool selected, uncheck auto select layer. We also want to go back and check the or select the title text layer. This is the Stormfront conspiracy layer and we can click on it and drag it up until it snaps to the left and top edge of our margins right there. When we do this, you can see that the uh, text is going off the edge on the right side of our margins. So we need to shrink this down. With this layer selected, let's go to Edit and down to Free Transform. This will put a bounding box around everything that's on this layer. Holding down Shift, we want to click on the bottom right edge and drag up until it matches and fits inside of the rightmost margin guide. When we're done with this, we can click Return, and this will lock in the transformation that we've made. Now, if we want to type in a very specific transformation, we can hit Command-T. This will bring back up our transformation guides, and check out the very top of your transform control panel. Notice that you've got a width and a height. And if we turn on the constraint proportions in the center, whatever we type in one, for instance, we want to make it exactly 65, we'll automatically type into the height over here as well. When we hit the checkbox on the far right hand side, this will commit to that particular change. This is a good time to save, so let's go to File and Save. Now let's learn to move and transform some regular layers. If we go into our Layers panel, Hold down the Option key and click on the eyeball for the Tornado layer and select that Tornado layer. Let's use our Move tool and click on this layer and drag it up until it uh, completely fills up the top portion and you don't see any transparent pixels at the top. The next thing we want to do is to flip this layer. So let's go back to Edit, down to Transform, and choose Flip Horizontal and this will flip it to the other side. Next thing we can do is to turn on visibility for our lightning layer and then click on the lightning layer to make sure it's selected. To position this and scale it down, let's go back to Edit and turn on Free Transform or you can hit Command T to do the same thing. And we want to click on the lightning itself and drag it until that top right edge meets the top red edge of our document. Now in our options bar, we want to scale this down precisely. So if we look up here at the top options, let's make sure that top right reference point is selected and we turn on constrained proportions. And if we type in 75% in one, notice that the automatically put 75% in the other. Once we're done with that, hit return. This will lock in the transformation. And the book's going to ask you to re-enter transform mode. Essentially what it's showing you is that even though we typed in 75%, it went back to 100% once that transformation was now made. 
This is a good point to save. So we'll go to File and Save and continue to the next exercise. Now we can start talking about making transformations for the background layer. This is a special layer. So let's go to our Layers panel, hold down Option and click on the eyeball for the background layer and make sure that background layer is selected. Notice that it has a lock icon. This lock simply means that any transformations that are done to it cannot happen. So if we try to go to edit and do any free transform or flipping, we can't do it from here. We do want to flip this image and there's another way we can do it by going to image, down to image rotation and choose flip canvas horizontally. Notice that this will flip the image, but the problem with this is that it flips all of the other layers. If we turn on the logo types, you can see that these uh, text is now backwards and this is not what we want to have done. So let's undo what we did. We'll go to edit and undo flip horizontal canvas and this will put it back to the way it should be. To unlock a layer, go to your layers panel and double click on the lock icon. If you accidentally click too much like I did, you can just hit cancel. But clicking on that lock icon will unlock the layer and allow it to be treated as a regular layer. Notice now that the name of it is layer zero. So we can double click on the name of it and let's call it sunrise. With the sunrise layer selected, now we can go to edit, transform, and let's flip it horizontally. This will put it on the right side and now we can turn on our logo types layer and you can see that the text is nice and correctly placed. The last thing that we need to do is to use our move tool and let's select the logo layer, click on it and drag it down to the bottom right hand corner till it matches the bottom right hand margins. This is the end of this particular section so let's go to file and save and continue on to stage three.